Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the GLUT1 deficiency syndrome, a specific central nervous system pathology that causes a number of symptoms and signs. It is generated by a mutation of a specific gene, which is called SLC2A1, um, and, uh, and malfunctioning of the GLUT1 enzyme. This enzyme is responsible for transportation of glucose from the blood to the brain via the blood-brain barrier. When this doesn't happen properly, there is not an, an insufficient amount of glucose in the brain, which causes a number of consequences. The most common consequences are um, uh, a retard in uh, development of the brain, so we have uh, problems in, uh, in the movement, uh, in functional problems, problems in uh, speech. Actually, there are two forms. 90% of uh, cases, so the common form, comes with epilepsy, uh, which happens in the first months of life for the children. Um, this is also uh, accompanied by um, reduced growth of brain and skull. The 10%, uh, the, the, the remaining 10% of this pathology doesn't come with epilepsy, so it is a non-convulsive GLUT1 deficiency. It is very important to know that this pathology has been diagnosed in 1991 for the first time, so it is a relatively new pathology. It is under-diagnosed nowadays, as there are about five to 600 cases all over the world. That doesn't mean that there are no more cases of GLUT1 deficiency, but probably this pathology is not known enough. So, it is very important to diagnose this pathology in time, because according to what we are going to do, the way we're going to treat it, we're going to have a different outcome. So, uh, if we treat it in the proper way from the beginning, we actually are able to avoid permanent problems, permanent defects in the brain later on. How do we treat a GLUT1 deficiency case? What is the best treatment? Actually, the best treatment is a metabolic treatment. How do we do that? Well, with the ketogenic diet. A ketogenic diet is a low-carbohydrate, high-fat, regular protein, high-fiber diet. It is actually, nowadays, the only treatment possible for GLUT1 deficiency patients and it works simply because we switch the metabolism from the glucose metabolism which is the one that we are used to to a lipid fat metabolism and that's the way we bypass the problem um, we have to consider that this pathology is still underestimated and underdiagnosed in fact it has been only uh, discovered or defined in 1991 Nowadays, only five to six hundred cases are mm, revealed, are uh, claimed in the world. That doesn't mean that we don't have more cases of GLUT1 deficiency in the world, we just don't know. So, it is probably time to get started and know this pathology more, also because the pre diagnosis and the pre treatment of the first clinical signs is crucial. It's crucial to avoid uh, permanent damages in the brain. Um, what would we have to do at this point? Well, we have to sensibilize research because that is a lot that has to be done in order to uh, discover and develop what we have found so far. Um, there is a specific uh, organization in Italy that is called Italian GLUT1 Deficiency uh, Association. Uh, it is wwwglut one Dot IT. Um, its president, um, Massimiliano Barone, is willing to put together a registry of patients in order to uh, understand what their needs are. Also, we have to mention the Mondino Clinic in Northern Italy, in Pavia. This clinic, uh, directed by uh, Professor Vegiotti, is responsible for treating a large number of GLUT1 patients. Um, and it's probably, as now, uh, the most important, the most prominent uh, center that treats uh, patients with GLUT1 and epilepsy with a ketogenic diet in Italy. Also, there is a company, very important company in Italy, called Legamberi Foods, who's responsible for 
producing a non glucidic line of products like pasta, like bread, like chocolate, like Nutella. And this is specifically used for these patients, not only for this purpose, but of course, they are developing a specific line just for GLUT1 patients. Uh, also, at the end of this video, we will give you uh, a number of links to follow in order to get extra information about the patient registry or how to get um, specific therapies for GLUT1 and even how to recognize it. It is very important that neurologists get to know this syndrome best possible because it is now time to identify it as a specific pathology and not as a generic neurodegenerative disease. Thank you so much for your attention and uh, see you next time.